Hello and welcome back to the channel, Life of Bonsai. In this video, I'll be working on the giveaway tree, a cedar elm. Now, this tree is still alive. It's a deciduous tree, so in winter, it drops all of its leaves. And now the spring is about to kick in. The buds are starting to swell a little bit, so in no time, it's going to have a lot of growth. Now, giveaway information. At 7,000 subscribers, we're pretty much 2,000 subscribers away from achieving that goal. I'll be announcing the winner at 7,000 subscribers. So all you have to do is, of course, be a subscriber, like the video, and comment down below your favorite tree species and why you like to work on those trees. Now, just a little information on the giveaway. For now, this is only a USA giveaway, and I apologize for that. The reason why is because you know, this is a live tree, and I have never shipped a tree outside of the USA so I wouldn't really want to compromise the health of the tree um, if I was to ship farther out and the tree having to stay in a package for a longer time so I apologize for that but down the line I'll be doing more giveaways uh, pots or tools different things so stay tuned and without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at the tree and see what I'll be doing in this tree pot let's get started Now, here is a close-up of the tree, and look how beautiful it is. Real nice bark, making it look real old. I did some carving here, and I'm planning on doing the carving lower so it can look really nice. Some initial wiring already, and hopefully we get some backbone in here to start developing some branches. So, I'm going to be working on this ugly root. As you can see, they are just not looking nice. So I'm going to be repotting and it's going to look really nice. It's going to be waking up soon. So it's, it's time to repot. We already have our lead selected here. I might get rid of this one right here because there's no really need. And we'll see what we'll do. But let's get started with this repot. So first thing is first, to remove the tree out of the container to take a look at the roots and see what we need to get rid of, apart from those ugly roots. So this is definitely going to be a really, really nice tree. And uh, I'm not just saying it because it's going to be a giveaway tree, but uh, oh man, uh, this is real nice. And it's going to be looking even nicer once it develops. So I'm going to get my wire cutters to remove the wire that is anchoring the tree. So I've been having this tree for about two years now. And it's a really, really nice tree. So I think I still have another wire back here. And boom. It's free to be out of the container. So I have the tree out and the very first thing I want to do is get rid of this nasty, nasty root. It is just not, not really helping at all. So go away so it's got a really beautiful base and I think I might get rid of this ones too and expose more of that trunk now back here I have the same situation just roots that are just way too high and not contributing any anything at all to the to the tree itself so I meant to say the design, of course, they continue to contribute to the tree, but you know what I meant. I'm just going to remove soil from around, and I'll be reusing this soil. It's really good bonsai soil, akadama, lava, and pumice. And this is, this is going to be a really, really beautiful tree. You'll see 
you'll see and I'll keep you I'll be keeping you updated on how this street is developing as we approach 7,000 subscribers which we are getting there we are really really close now and here is the pot that I'll be using and here is the tree used and let's see it's gonna look real nice that's gonna look really really nice this pot just right there now the next thing is to tie down the tree to the pot just to make sure that it's not going to move and it's going to stay secure while it recovers and now it's time to add the soil again I'll be reusing the same soil this is really good soil again is um, a really good mix of um, double portion of Akadama pumice and lava rock really really good combination for deciduous trees and that extra Akadama is going to help retain a little bit more water which is really good especially on those hot summer days where you you're not able to water multiple times a day this is really good this is looking really nice so I'm I don't know I might enter the giveaway too <laughs> just kidding no but it, it is a really nice tree it really is a nice tree I'm, I'm not lying it's, it's a it's an amazing tree and looking back at the tree looks huge <laughs> it looks really nice it looks really really nice in this spot so it looks even bigger so it just looks gnarly it looks old with that uh, dead wood it looks really really nice so i just love how natural these curves are really nice natural curves and of course this taper up here is going to give us a little bit better movement across or if you win the tree you can either decide to get rid of those and just leave uh, a crazier crazier carving so plenty of options for this tree but let me water the tree that's the next step and here it is fully repotted i'm going to add a little bit of cut paste on this cut right here that's where the root was coming all the way down but look how gnarly <laughs> look how nice that trunk looks looks old quirky as it can be real barky really nice so it's a nice little tree and the winner again at 7,000 subscribers it's gonna be announced soon so don't forget to subscribe please like the video share and comment down below your favorite tree species share the video the sooner we get to 7,000 subscribers the sooner we do the giveaway thank you so much for watching have an amazing day